Hey, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to speak with you about a great mic technique for getting a stereo image when recording acoustic guitar. It's called a mid-side setup and it uses two microphones. Now it also requires some post-recording work in your DAW and I'll show you how to do that. Now for this setup we're going to need a mic that records in a cardioid pattern and another mic that records in a figure eight pattern. For this demonstration for the cardioid I'm going to be using a Rode NT55 condenser mic which you see on the top. And for the figure eight mic, I'm going to be using a Rode K2 tube condenser mic, which you see on the bottom. Now I have the K2 turned to its side, so I capture the figure eight pattern on the left and the right. And the K2 has a great feature that allows you to select different patterns. And as you can see here, I have it selected for figure eight. On the Rode NT55, I'm using the cardioid capsule, and I have it pointed directly at the acoustic guitar. Both of these mics are coming through separate PreSonus studio channels. I'm using the studio channels on both mics to add some tube warmth, to adjust some equalization, and also add some light compression. I'm using the bottom studio channel to power the NT55. These signals are then routed to my Studio 192 audio interface with both channels set to zero gain. But the point of this demonstration is really not about acoustic guitar tone, it's about getting a stereo image for your acoustic guitar. Now the Studio 192 is of course routed to Studio 1, and I've got two tracks set up, one for the NT55 and the other for the K2. I have the acoustic position about a foot away from the microphones, pointing right around the 14th fret. Now we'll have to do a few things inside our DAW to complete the mid-side technique. First, we need to duplicate the K2 track recording. Now to make things easier, I'm going to have both K2 tracks running to a single bus, and the NT55 will run to the stereo bus. Now for the mid-side technique, you're going to need to invert the phase on the duplicated figure eight mic track. And in Studio One, I'm going to use the Mix Tool plugin to do that. Next, we'll need to pan the two K2 figure eight mic tracks hard left and hard right. Now, as I play this back, I'll use the bus to fade in the two K2 tracks so you can hear the effect of the mid side miking technique. Now let's put the phase back to where it was originally. That's how you record acoustic guitar using the mid side mic setup. Thanks for watching, and I hope this information was helpful. Please don't hesitate to post questions in the comments below or email me at the address listed here. If you like what you saw, please take a second to click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your home studio.